of you who like to know how you can be successful and still be a Christian. You know, it's not a sin to be a Christian and be wealthy. It's really not. So here, without any further ado, we have Bernice Lohman, who has wonderful events and, and programs about teaching business owners how to be successful. Bernice, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. What that excited. smile, how fun. <laughs> you're just such a happy person. I am. I can Praise see that. that. I can see that. <laughs> and I love it when uh, women and men come on the show and really talk about prosperity. Yes. Because so many times as Christians, we think we have to be poor because it's rare for a rich man to make it to heaven. We hear yes. that all the time. And that gets misconstrued a lot. Yes. And why don't you tell us first a little bit about yourself, how you, got, how you came to be. Yes. And then we'll talk more about what you do. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, pleasure. Well, I am the CEO of Loma Creative Services, and uh, we are the one-stop shop for branding and marketing. I'm also, of course, a woman of faith, and I have a lot of gifts from website designing, from social media, from I just love to do it all. <laughs> oh, that's good. And so uh, and how I came about with it is yeah. God just began to speak to me about using everything that he's given given me and I was working a nine to five and literally heard him say I want you to do this full time how long ago was that that was four years ago okay and I'm like God are you really you mm -hmm. know and I was talking to my husband about it he's, and he's like are you sure you heard from God you know and I heard God say it and he told me, gave me the street, the strategic plan on how to do my scheduling posters, how to, he really gave me a plan of how to do that. And from there, I just began to do it. And within maybe three, I think it was like three months, I just, I just saw God grow the business. And I mean, from a lot of clientele, from global, everywhere. And I just, I'm like, okay, God, I'll do it. You know? <laughs> and that's how I began to really feel the love and the passion to do Christian business and to help a lot of the Christians because I would always connect with a lot of men and women of faith who would say, I want to write a book or I want to get that website. I don't know where to start. And this is something I know God is telling me to do. I would just have so many people come to me and I'm like, I know this is God. Yeah, and really. we would just talk and share what God has been giving them and how I can help yeah. them. And this is where it came about. Uh, we have to dig in a little deeper because you're mm -hmm. saying a whole lot right here yes. that I know the viewers are going to be thinking, oh my gosh, that's me. Yes. I know I should be doing this, but there's a lot of the steps yes. they got to take. And, and sometimes you think you might be hearing the word of God, but it might just be yes. not the right time. So let's go back for a second. What were you doing previous to four years ago when God said, here's, here's what I want you to do? Were you in this kind of line of work? I was a practice representative. I was in the health administration uh, okay. field. Um, that was my thinking, like, okay, if I stay in the health field, I know I'll always get a job. So my, I had a bachelor's degree, I have a bachelor's degree in business administration, but my MBA concentration is in health administration. So okay. I thought, you know, I'm gonna be in the health field, I'm going to- That'll never go out of business, never right? go out of business. <laughs> I could still do a little of business and and, um, but when God called me to help businesses, help ministries, and help them create their brand, and it was, I just felt that passion. It was something that I felt that I, it was one of those I had to do. Right. I would do it for free if I had to. Right. You know, so I know, like, okay, this is definitely God. So, okay, that's good. So you're not jumping off a cliff doing something no. completely different. So you have some experience. You've I got do. a degree. Mm -hmm. This is kind of what comes naturally to yes. you. But you were in the 9 to 5 at a necessity. It wasn't exactly, and you knew you weren't exactly where you needed to be. Yes. So it's not like God just said, okay, now jump off a cliff. I want no, you to go be a clown. Uh, no. <laughs> Which is fine, too. He does that a lot as well. <laughs> Whatever wants you to do. But so you feel like you weren't. In, the, in exactly God's perfect will. No. So not. now, how do you go from hearing God's voice to taking a step to making it successful? Because I know yes. hundreds of entrepreneurs, and they want the same thing. They're hearing God's voice, saying, I know I'm not in God's perfect will at this point. There's more for me to do, and I need to step out in faith. So give us some tacticals, because we don't want people just jumping off cliffs. We want yes. to know where they need to go, but some skills. So how can you help us with that? So one of the things that I do offer as, as a service is I'm a business coach. So 
or I assist with the goal setting because that's something God showed me of how to set goals. Of course, like you said, I didn't just jump off. Right, the, so you're strategic the, about strategic, it. Okay. Strategic, very strategic that's about smart. it. Um, and creating plans. He gave me a strategic plan on how to do it. And like, like I said, even from the social media posting, from scheduling, um, scheduling consultations um, at a certain hour, um, just those specific things that he allowed me to do that people saw what I did uh, from connecting with people from Kenya, connecting people from everywhere. God has done it. And I'm, and I see the fruit from him doing that just by me being strategic with the plan that he's, that he gave me. So I've. So Christian, Christian seen a business plan too. Absolutely. I find it. And I could be guilty as, as well, because sometimes we feel, I just heard from God. Let me just go do yes. And I've, spent you know time doing mm -hmm. that as well but it is always good to have that plan and I've always had a coach as well I always have a coach mm -hmm. in my life taking me to the next level because it's so yes. much easier for 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 coaches and I'm a coach and I have coaches to help you not make the mistakes you don't need to make absolutely it's, it helps you go faster to wherever you need to be yes so do you find that you're happier now being a, you know, so it's important for Christians to be yes. happy right to yes. be in the joy of the Lord in their in their calling yes so this has made you a lot more happy. Yes, okay. I'm very happy, That's extremely happy. <laughs> so tell us more about what you do and how you can serve as Christians. Uh, well, I, Loma Creative Services, we are the one-stop shop for branding and marketing. So we can assist you with your image branding, your marketing plans, your branding strategy, um, website design, logo design, graphics. We do it all. Um, are you working marketing alone? Marketing campaigns. No, we have seven, seven of us uh, that help with the videos, the photo photography. We, Pretty much it, it all. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a lot Ready of people praying for you right now. <laughs> like, oh, I need to know her. Yes. Oh, that's great. What do you feel about the, the Bible says about uh, prosperous Christians? Tell us your feelings on it this. Is I love your shirt. Tell us about I your shirt. I'm a Christian business owner. I Deuteronomy 818. Deuteronomy 818. He does give us the power to get wealth. And that has been one of my favorite scriptures because I came from a, a, a home where money wasn't talked about. It was just you pay tithes and you offer it and then you'll be blessed. It wasn't like you get a business. It wasn't that you create a business plan. I didn't know any about that until I get, got into school and got to get more into prayer and learning what God is saying about money and finances and businesses and mm -hmm. how he did give us the power to get wealth. So I, he wants us to feed our families too. He does. <laughs> he does. And I talk to a lot of Christian businesses now and I let them know, hey, this is how you can price. A lot of Christian businesses don't know how to strategically price things. So you I find teach they underprice that. it? Underprice it or give it for free. Oh yeah. You oh, know, yeah. and God does not want us to do that. There are moments where he would speak to us about blessings mm -hmm. with free, but a lot of times he does tell us we have to price certain things so that we can do to feed our family. We right. can do more with what we have. And so that's where the Christian Business Owners event comes in where I do annually to talk and share. I bring in a lot of, of the other experts that have the expertise that I don't have. Um, and they come in like attorney Kate Strain, who's going to come and talk about trademarks. We have different topics right. that we need as Christian business owners. I f do you feel that the Christians that you are, because your, your information is for everyone. Yes. And we say for Christians now because you want more Christians to participate. Yes. Because you feel they, they feel guilty making more money that, oh, I shouldn't be a millionaire. Oh, God, we can't talk about being a millionaire. My feeling is the more Christian millionaires are good people that are millionaires, there's more tithing. 10% of a million back Absolutely. to your church is a lot better than 10% of $1,000 this year because you gave everything away for free. Absolutely. So help encourage the Christian community um, that it's okay scripturally to be prosperous. It is. And is scripture, there is scripture that states that money answers all things. So, you know, it's the love of do, money, that's the sin. It is the love of money. So, and if we understand that God has called us, he's given us power to get wealth. We can be wealthy as Christian business owners. That building that you, you may want to build, you can do that. Just learn that God wants you to do this, price a certain thing. He be wants smart. you to go here. Just absolutely be smart about it. And it's a way that we have so much inside of us that he can use 
that that's our multiple streams of income. And you're also creating jobs, Absolutely. which is such a blessing too, to be a good, honest yes. business owner that has integrity and faith to and then hire jobs and treat them well yes. and be able to give those old fashioned Christmas bonuses yes. that were taken away so many yes. times before and be able to say, I have more. I always tell people, if you don't need the money, make it anyway, because there's people that do need it. Yes. And you could be that vehicle that could make a lot of money and give more, because I love to give to yes. charities. So I know you can't make too much money because there's so many people that needed yes. that cannot physically work yes. for whatever reason. You can be such a blessing. So tell us about this. I know you've got the C CBO Business Summit. Tell us in the last few minutes that we have a little bit about that. That is an annual Christian business owner event where Christians from all over. In fact, we have a speaker coming from Kenya. Oh, uh, yes. What's uh, the website Pastor on that? Gazebo. It's cboevent.com. Cboevent.com. Mm -hmm. All right, and tell us it's September 14th. September the 14th, Saturday from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. in Savannah, Georgia. Oh, I love yes. Savannah too. It's Beautiful different city. Different topics. It's Tell us some about prayer. the topics. Yeah, we have uh, trademarks. Uh, you learn about business plans. Uh, we're going to learn about marketing plans. Uh, we're going to learn about um, social media. Social media. Yeah, everything. <laughs> everything as it relates to your business. How to become a certified coach? Because a lot of us are coaching. As I was before I became certified, I would do a lot of coaching, but found that I wasn't certified in what I did. Right. So uh, we have different speakers who are actually going to teach us that. I'm glad you say that because uh, Apostle Eric before you had mentioned that when you want to go out and do God's will and have that ministry you mm -hmm. need to be under the tutelage of somebody and you're talking about yeah. being certified and that's kind of the same thing you go out you get Training. trained to do what you feel God's yes. calling you to do. Yes. So we're all not just jumping off cliffs and yes. here we are. It's, it's a strategy and God can bless that. So tell us what it means to be a certified coach. To be certified is you have the proper training you, like the pastor did mention about the training, you are qualified, well. you're trained very well to do what you do versus just going untrained. So that's a big difference. What's one of the key elements in the certification that somebody would learn that they may not already know? They may have the desire to be a coach yes. and they love to inspire and encourage, but what's one of those tactical things that they need to learn? I think listening um, and knowing that as a coach, I learned that not only listen, but I have to pretty much help that person or the persons versus me giving them all the instructions as I did before. It is your life. It is what God has called you to do. I'm just there to help you and make sure that you get there. But I don't steer it in the way that it's me and then I'm bringing you along. It is when you become certified, you learn to, how to help, how to, how to be strategic when you're helping. It reminds me of being a psychologist or a yes. counselor. You've got yep. two ears to listen Absolutely. twice as much as one mouth mm -hmm. to speak. And you could easily get caught up into giving people answers because you're thinking, oh, you should do this, you should Absolutely. that. Absolutely. But it's, it's like raising kids. They've yes. got to come up with it themselves. And if we don't know that strategy, it seems like it would be so easy for us just all day long tell people what to do. Yes. And how successful do you think people would be if we just told them what to do? Yeah, that's true. Well, we wouldn't be as successful. Because that's true. They need to come up with yes. some things. Do you have a quick testimony of somebody you've helped? Yes. Okay, go for I it. I want to talk about last year. Last year, CBO, um, so many connections, divine connections were made. Um, so many of the vendors who said they made so much money from the, the venue, um, from the many testimonies that people said, I came and I got my book published because we have a book publisher that's going to come and teach you how to publish your book in 90 days. That's amazing. Um, so, well, who is that? Um, Leroy McKenzie Jr., he's, he's coming from Baltimore, Maryland. He's with JNF Enterprise. That's really important. A lot yeah. of entrepreneurs, most of them, they, they want to write a book or they have a book as part yes. of their business card. So that's worth yes. it right there. Yeah. Now, if somebody cannot come, but they want to come, they want to connect with you and maybe come for next year or be a speaker next year or be a vendor uh, if it's too late this year because it's coming up in a couple of days. Well, we do have live stream access. Well, tell us so about it. We do have live stream. So if, even if they can't make it by travel, we have a live stream access and all of that can be found on cboevent.com. If someone can't physically come, we do have that available. Yeah. Uh, and everything else can be found at cboevent.com. We have a Facebook group as well where right. uh, Christian business owners can connect so yes well if you could give in the last minute uh christians some scriptures and some testimonials just scriptures to help them know that it's okay real quick we've got like 30 seconds what do you want them to know i want to say it's okay god gives has given us the power to get well so it's okay everything every gift that you have every idea is not crazy 
stuff, you know, like, God, is this really what you want me to do? It's, it's doable. You know, you can do all things through Christ which strengthens us. If he's, if he's given us that thought, that idea, we can do it. We just need the right person to let us know how to do it. Like, hey, I've gone through this. I, this is what I do. Here's the services that I offer. Let me help you and get you through it. And God has people in the body of Christ Hello. that has already gone through it. You don't have to get anyone outside. God has people in the body of Christ who has what we need. Well, I hope people connect with you because I'm going to connect with you. Yes. I think this is great because I always think of Noah's Ark, two by two. We're not in this world to be alone. Yes. And he's already given us the mentors we need. Thank yep. you so much for being with us. Thank you. We're